Welcome back to the Cult Family Analysis Series. Here we go again. Last video, we took a look at the homestead, which since then the game has received a lot of new changes. I'll be covering that in a new video. If you haven't seen the homestead analysis, go watch it. I think you'll like it if you're already on this one. I did say the Colt family was on a halt in the comments of the last video, but it seems like they picked back up better than ever. So yeah, nice. I got new stuff to work with. Before anything, I just want to mention it takes a lot of time to make these videos. The homestead analysis took me weeks, maybe months to finalize. So if you like the content, consider subscribing, liking the video, maybe commenting your thoughts and or feedback. It, it genuinely helps. I know you guys are tired of the YouTuber's speech thing or whatever, but it kind of has to be done nowadays to succeed on this platform. Hope you don't mind. Also, consider joining the channel as a member to support me. Not required, but it's, it's greatly appreciated. Or just join my Discord, follow the socials, all that. I appreciate that too. Anyways, on to the video. This video is going to be a little shorter, but it's going to hit two birds with one stone. The Colt Family Group had made a hub game. I don't know if this is new or not, but it's been recently updated and I didn't see this while browsing the group previously. So we'll just take a quick look into that. And on the last video's comments, Akamana decided to give me a few words in the comments, saying that if I was interested in the best atmosphere project they did for the cult family, that would have to be the Shallow Basket Ceremony, which was one of their favorite games to make because of the location and ambience. But luckily, that's actually one of the games that I was going to talk about in this video, and also perhaps in a longer video, but yeah, I decided to cut it down to one shorter one. I was really going to make a master post of everything that I had in mind for the cult family, but the fact that I already have over 10,000 words on the first part of the video is not a good sign. <sighs> My sanity is deteriorating. So I decided to split the parts up together. And with that being said, please remember, do not write meta comments that explain subtext into things we're about to get into in the games. In other words, shut the fuck up and enjoy the video. So. Let's start this off, shall we? The Colt Family Hub was created on the 26th of September 2021. At the time of writing this, it was updated on the 20th of October 2022. The description writes, A central hub for the Colt Family Games. They're not lying, it really is a hub for the Colt Family Games. Upon entering, we see this old TV VHS thing with the Colt Family logo in the middle rotating kind of left and right like those test demos or menu screens like those old games. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is cool. We have a play prompt on the bottom of the screen. At first, I just thought this was a normal play button for a Roblox game, but I realized with this whole VHS aesthetic, it could just actually be a lost footage type of thing where you're actually playing a VHS tape as soon as you enter. Aesthetic choice. Clicking that prompt brings us to this screen. Yeah, I was right. It's like those old DVDs or cassettes where there'd be like a menu screen and you could select which scene you want to play or if you want to click on the bloopers or change the subtitle or doubling language. Yeah, I love this. This is really cool. There are many to select with a next prompt and a back prompt to bring us back home. Clicking the homestead, we see a description. After the Colt family's former Louisiana home is destroyed, David attempts to rebuild what is left of the Colt family. However, some things never change. Cool, actual context, that's nice. Now, um, how do I, wait, how do I go, wait, how do I go back from this, what? What the fuck? Okay, so there's literally just no back button, you're just forced to play whatever you selected first. Okay, nice. <sighs> okay, time to restart. Oh god, I just realized we have to do this multiple times now, Jesus. Okay, on to the next one, Sanctuary. A place for those lost to find his graces. Built out of an abandoned warehouse, the sanctuary was established as the cult family's current church after the loss of the Bayou Manor. Bayou? Bayou? Manor. Yeah. They seem to talk a lot about losing a house or a manor. I'm guessing it's the Louisiana house the homestead's description talks about. Toolshed. After settling down at the homestead, David decided he needed a place to hide a secret. Okay, kind of sus. He settled on buying out a tool shed. After this, he has picked up woodworking. Hmm. Okay. What a, what a neat little thing to say. After this, he's picked up woodworking. <laughs> the shallow basket ceremony. Hey, that's the one we're looking at later. The shallow basket ceremony has been used since Martin was the leader of the family as a new place to cle... Cle... Cleese? Cleanse? 
Cleese? Google says cluster expansion in atomic situation environment. Yeah, no, I don't, don't, I don't think that's right. To Cleese new members after the South Carolina manor was sent to blaze. Okay, wow, yeah, so okay, the, the manor just took fire. Amazing. I think that kind of explains the portrait that we saw in the uh, homestead last time. Formerly, Walden's shack rests here abandoned. Who the fuck is Walden? Anyways, this description confuses me. Cult family fixed now. Thank you. On to the next page. Bait shop. Next to the calm river, a fishing shop sits. The location is a beautiful site for tourists. During the night, though, the same could not be said about its operation. What the fuck? This is so vague. Are they money laundering here? <laughs> Interesting. I've been here a few times, actually. The Wanderer. Jimmy leaves the family and goes out on his own to find out what it feels like to be a free man again. He sets up his box truck next to the river. Character lore, ooh. I kind of see a reoccurring theme here with the people wanting to leave the family. Probably because they don't like it being affiliated with the family. Ooh. Golgotha. What the fuck is a Golgotha? After a traumatic event in the homestead in Bayou, Manor. Bay bayou. Man, I can't say that word. Emmett finds an abandoned cabin in the woods and makes it his own. However, the shadows still roam near him. Schizophrenia. Yeah, no, Emmett's kind of fishy, not gonna lie. Also, what the, like, what is Golgotha? Calvary, or Golgotha, was a site immediately outside Jerusalem's walls where Jesus was said to have been crucified according to the can canonical gospels. <laughs> <laughs> Canonical gospels, bro. Jesus got head cannoned. What the fuck? Yeah, I'd make a link between the use of the name and the game, but we're not really getting into it today. Leave it for another time. Run away. After running away, Nick has isolated themselves in an apartment building. They reflect they're alone. The sounds of people walking in the halls leave them sleepless every night. God damn, dude. This reading this actually kind of sucks, Loki. Also, notice the use of them and themselves. Yeah. Pronouns, bitch. All right, next page. Home base. Away from the family, Jason takes over an old swamp house and fixes it up with Joshua. During his time, he reflects on what is left of the family and what he should do now. Okay, interesting. Trailer park. After an argument in the homestead regarding Merle's messy lifestyle, Merle leaves the homestead with his old trailer to live by himself. He settles down at a trailer park away from everyone. Don't know much about this Merle guy, but with this description, it just seems like my man got kicked out for being a shitter. Goddamn. Apartments. Decades after the Colt family's rise and fall, a new incident occurs at an apartment building. This tape is not related to the Colt family, however, some things still linger from before. Hey, look at that. This is what I mean, the tape thing. This is like a whole VHS thingy. Also, I don't know much about this, but I think I might have actually played this in full one time back when I first discovered the Cult family. Honestly, this game is really cool. We're not checking it today, though, but yeah, this game is actually really cool. Riverside Dock. A few miles down from Callum's Catches, a lone dock in the swamp sits. Rumors say the best fish can be caught here. After his passing, it is named the Lone Fisherman's Spot. His passing? Who, who the fuck is that? Who? Oh, wait, I actually joined this at some point. I got I to gotta fish with some family members at some point. Of course, I would like to go fishing. Of course. What? It was actually really silly. Let me know if you guys want to see that footage. And um, those are the games. Those are all the tapes. I love this menu so much. And and the music, it's just... Oh, my God. It's, it's actually so good. Again, I, I can't stress this enough. I really hope the Cult family keeps making their game atmosphere is like heavy like this and like they hold on to strong linked aesthetics it's just the the best thing to witness as a player this 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 shit is what i live for cool hub awesome thank you this was really nice and with that we're here for the shallow basket ceremony let's take a look with a click the music fades ui elements fade with it and brings us right where we need to be This is the shallow basket ceremony. This music, man. The second we join, we already know what we're about to feel, what mood we're into. Again, both 1 and 10 graphics look amazing on their own, and even low graphics has a unique charm to it. God, I love the scenery in this. Walking forth, there's a neat little home here and a running truck. Hey, whoever's car this is, turn the engine off. You're wasting gas, dog. Seems like someone just got here and just 
left off their truck. Oh man, I, I really love this blue sky and forest vibe going on here. It's just like clashing right against the orange slash brown lighting. The little home just completely contrasting the view. This is peak design. I noticed on the side of the house, there's this little grave here. There's a mask on a cross just above where it's buried. Strange place to keep a body right next to your home. Yeah, kind of odd. Heading inside, well, the same door creak can be heard. And as we enter, everything just changes. The music, the FOV, suddenly decrease. The screen takes in a weird color filter. All of a sudden, making things kind of look sad. Damn. On the right, we have this kitchen area, which is just completely fucked up. The player seems to be working fine, as we can hear the music come from it, but everything is just trashed. The knives thrown across the wall. They left a candle on top of this uh, little toppled fridge. Weird. Guessing someone recently came here to light this up? Whatever. Who, who knows? Also, couldn't help but notice the voodoo doll on the ground, which uh, has pins in it. It's wearing the same mask of the guy that just got buried on the side of the house. Kind of scary. While checking around, I keep hearing these like weird knocking noises. Let me know if you guys hear this. Yeah, you probably heard that. Anyways, we move on to the other area and it's also just completely fucked up too. Everything is trash. There's like a bunch of voodoo dolls laying everywhere. Some even depicted with their limbs detached. Nice, great. Near this living room, there's a little seating area with like a TV here, which yeah, it's also trashed. The bottles, the ripped weird carpet, the broken screen on the TV, the turned over couch. Yeah, this place does not look good. Moving on, there seems to be a little secluded area here. I'm guessing this is where the bedroom was until it got messed up. The mattress just completely being removed from the actual frame here. Some furniture also just looks toppled over. In the back of the room though, there's a little lever here. Oh, we can actually click it and um, what the fuck? There's a hidden room! Oh. Oh. Oh, there's a book down here! Lore! March 13th, 1972. My name is Devin Walden Lecter. This is a journal to log my experimental new lifestyle I'm wanting to try out. I was formerly part of the upper class, however, I've decided that I want to downgrade my lifestyle in order to understand the culture of Louisiana more. I've purchased some books regarding dark magic, voodoo, and the art of puppets, hoping to find something more in life. I purchased a shack out in the middle of the bayou, next to a shallow pond, with the hopes of really feeling the outdoor isolation. December 9th, 1973. Gahaha. A man approached my shack today. His name was Martin. He was bewildered by the sight of my dolls. He was quite a gentleman, asking me many, many, many things about me. I answered only what I could, ha ha ha. He asked me if his family could use my shallow pond for his sermons. I told him he was crazy to believe in such a weak force, but I accepted only under the premise I could join his family of his. His mask was a mark of dark magic to me, I could tell by his aura. He had no strings. October 31st, 1977. I am completely free. The strings are gone. Dalton, you see me now? The strings are gone. You are now the puppet here. The Martin man has told me I am becoming too crazy and reckless, but I believe he has his own strings again. I am free. I am free. I am free. I hear knocking at my door tonight. It must be the next step in my life. This honestly left me speechless for a bit. This is just pure insanity written into three paragraphs, goddamn. So that's what the truck was there for. Martin, who, or whoever came here actually, and probably fucked this guy up. The grave next to the shack is probably Walden. He's dead. The mask that was on the cross? Yeah, that was on the voodoo doll's face in the kitchen on the ground as well. God fucking damn, everything ties together. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Also, I like how neat it is to just get out of here. Very nice, cool, parkour. There is one place that we haven't visited yet, though. And it's, um, this little weirdly lit up area across the shack. Walking up to here gives us a little music change, as the vibe is clearly different. This weird hole here. I'm guessing that's the little pond Walden was talking about. Surrounded by candles. There's a few mats on the side of this little pond. What the fuck even is this? There's a little table here with a Bible and a red glowing cross. That's kind of creepy. There's a key next to this and a 
small little mirror, I'm guessing, and it's broken. I'm seeing recurring patterns with these broken mirrors everywhere. Kind of odd. And on the side, there's a little chest storage compartment thing. Is this where they come to kill the sinners? Is this where they conduct everything? What an odd place this is. Regardless of its weird murderous undertones, this game is amazing. This is a wonderful example of a really well-crafted game. The atmosphere, the music, the choices in building, the design. Everything culminates into this amazing gameplay experience. And honestly, I had fun going through a lot of this. Another banger cult family game. Thanks for being patient with me and waiting on this analysis series. I'm really trying my best here. I appreciate you for watching. Also, a special thank you to the Cult Family Discord server for being really supportive and nice to me when I'm around. You guys rock. Thank you. Well, that concludes it for uh, for today. Let me know which games you want to see uh, covered next. And hopefully I'll already have it written down by now. Um, otherwise, thanks for being here. Much love. Do it in three, two, one, go. Yeah, holy <laughs> shit. The handshake, dude, holy. That was based, actually based.